In this video, we'll see how do we create a notepad file and after creating how do we write some data into that notepad or text file. Okay, so let us see, we'll be using file system object that's a communication or interface between UFT and to your local system. So let us see that. I've written a code here, let me explain you the code. Very first line, if you see, I'm trying to create an object that is scripting dot file system object. That object I'm assigning to FSO, that's a variable given. Now with respect to that variable FSO, I want to create a text file that is given as e slash file1.txt. That's a new name of the file and that's the location of the file. This everything I'm assigning to another variable that is stream. When I assign that to some variable, I can try to write some data. I can try to close the file. For example, stream.write, that means this notepad file.write, I want to write this text in the double quotes. So I can keep on typing whatever text I want. Next is stream.close, that means after writing the data, I have to close the file, okay? Later on, if you see set stream equal to nothing, set FSO equal to nothing. I'm trying to release the resources which are occupied by this FSO and nothing, that these are the variables here, okay? So you see first created object, written some data, close the file, and finally I have made as nothing, release the resources. I'll show you the folder that is E drive, okay? And do I have that file, file1.txt? First thing is, I'll open the folder now. Yeah, that's the drive given, E drive. Inside that E drive, I don't have any file named as file1.txt. If you see the name of the file, file1.txt, there is no file given here. After I execute this script or this test, a file will be created at this location. So if I click on this run button and click on run, yeah, so it executed, it has finished. Let me see the file. Okay, let me go to that folder. Okay, that's a folder given here. And if you see file one, that's a notepad file which is created. And if I double click on this file, if I double click on this file, the file will open, that's a notepad file. And if you see the text is given as HP Unified Functional Testing. The same text which I've typed here, okay, in this place, if you see HP Unified te uh, Functional Testing. So whatever text you want, you can keep on writing. And if you want to close the file, you can use this stream.close. Right? So I hope you're able to understand how do we create a notepad file, how do we write some data into that notepad file using this file system object. Okay, that's all for this video.